And also after it's a great year with the Grammys and then having a son, what does this mean now that Golden Globes is not very many music artists at an award for at an award show? No, it's absolutely amazing. It's very surreal and um, quite hilarious because um, it's not my field. You know, like Grammys and stuff, although it's mind-boggling to win Grammys, whether it be one or however many, this I'm not meant to really, you know, amazing actors have these awards. So, um, yeah, it's very weird, but incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Adele. I'm Cheyenne on French Television. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. How do you feel tonight and where do you find your inspiration? Um, I feel very excited tonight. I feel um, a little bit kind of overexcited. It's my first night out since I had my child. Um, and my inspiration normally comes from heartbreak, but I don't think I'm ever going to be devastated again anymore. So all good. Um, yeah, the Gautier song, someone that I used to know. Um, I love it, like a real xylophone vibe going on. I thought it was wonderful, and it was obviously the biggest song of the year. I just follow the crowd. <laughs> Sorry, we say that again. I didn't even know he was here. <laughs> I didn't know he was here. I don't know where he is. <laughs> Who's next? Hi. I'm curious to know if you can take me back to your first Bond movie because I would think you were a Bond fan to make a Bond song. Yeah, no, absolutely. My, well, the first Bond film that I watched. It was definitely a Piers Brosnan one because, you know, I'm only 24, so I don't really go back that far with the old, old classics. Um, I can't remember the one it was, actually. It was the one where he was on the speedboat going down the River Thames. That was the first one. Um, and then, you know, the Daniel Craig ones. I think he's so edgy as Bond and has completely turned the vibe around of Bond and um, for the better, I think, and real kind of elegant Bond films. So uh, Piers Brosnan was my first Bond and Daniel Craig would be my Bond forever. It's a huge responsibility, you know, and a lot, a lot of pressure to do a song for any film, let alone a Bond song. You know, Shirley Bassey's The Queen of Bond. Um, so that pressure was huge. I'd had a huge, weird, strange, bizarre year with my album 21 that just shot me to beyond fame. It was ridiculous. And I was pregnant, so I didn't... Um, the, my, I had my child, uh, like, two weeks before the film came out, so it was bad timing. <laughs> That's why I didn't know if I wanted to do it. Um, I just wanted to uh, ask if you could talk about sort of the unprecedented uh, success in a way of Skyfall and whether that's been additionally gratifying to you. It's over a billion dollars at the box office, all kinds of awards and nominations that no other Bond film has ever received. So um, do you just sort of let it go after you've done your part or has that been fulfilling for you as well? I mean, I don't really, I'm not really made that aware, um, you know, of kind of sales and figures of anything, really. But it was kind of, you know, very talked about that it was the most successful Bond and stuff like that in a billion dollar movie. And I got reminded of it when I went and sat with Sony. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I do pay attention to it. And I'm very proud. I would have been proud if the movie did nothing as well. Do you know what I mean? And it was such an honour to be um, involved with it. And I think Sam Mendes is wonderful. And the script was really exciting. You know, normally I write about, like, my misery. Um, and this time I wrote a song according to someone's script so that was very exciting and challenging but very great hi hi thank you <laughs> it's absolutely amazing you know like I was just saying it's kind of out of my comfort zone and I wasn't expecting it you know I, I took the risk and I was very proud of it but I really really didn't expect it so it's beyond anything I have ever thought of really Well, the, ne the next step is a, an EGOT, is it? So I've got to go Broadway and be in a TV show. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a whoopee. I'm going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I'm exhausted. That's how it's changed me. 
<laughs> I've got eczema from sterilising bottles so much in water. Um, and I'm not revealing his name. I'm not ready. It's too personal and intimate. I'm enjoying him on my own at the moment. But thank you for asking. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. <laughs>